C++ while loop. How to execute while loop in our C++ coding? So, a while loop statement repeatedly executes a target statement as long as a given condition is true. So, this is the basic syntax or the grammar of writing the while loop statement. So, there is a while, there will be one condition. If the condition is true, then only the statements are going to get executed. Here in this block, we can have a single statement, you can have multiple statements as well. But when the condition is false, then the statements will not get the control, so loop will not get executed. So, as a result of that, in the first case, if the condition is false, then these statements will remain unreachable and unexecuted. That means this block can have zero number of executions or one number of execution or multiple number of executions as well. So, here is the respective uh, flowchart for it. So, here we are having this uh, from where we are coming from the other part of, upper part of the program and this is my while condition and the condition code is written. This is the condition and this is the condition code is written. If the condition is true, then execute the code block. Again, the condition will be checked. Again, the condition is true, then it will execute the code block and then if the condition is false, then it, the control will come up, come out and it will execute, exit and terminate my coding. So, in this way, the respective flowchart we have explained. So, that means at first the control will come, it will check the condition. If the condition is true, then this corresponding block will go on executing once and then again the condition will be checked. If the condition is true again, the block will be executed. If the condition is false, then it will come out from this, uh, from this condition block and then this particular section, whatever will be there, subsequent sections will get executed of, of my program, and then ultimately the program will get terminated. So, here is the respective program for us. So, int a is equal to 10. So, I will initialize a with the value 10 here and here, here while a is less than 20. So, while a is less than 20. So, 10 is less than 20, the condition is true. Then this line will go on executed. So, a value of a will get printed and then a plus plus. So, value of a will become 11. Again, the, whether 11 is less than 20, that will be checked. As the condition is true, then again the code will get executed. So, the value of a will get printed as 11. In this way, the loop will go on executing until a reaches the value 19. Then also the loop will go on executing. But when the value of a will become 20, increasing from 90 by 1. So, 19 by 1 means I am increasing that is 20. Then 20 is less than 20, the condition will be false. So, then it will come out from this program, from this while block and obviously the program will get terminated. So, here the last value of A, which is supposed to get printed will be 19 here. So, here is the respective output for us. So, there is a respective output. So, value of A is equal to 10. So, the value of A has got printed, and then it has got incremented. So, printed, then incremented. So, at first 10 will get printed, not 11. 10 will get printed, then it will become 11. 11 is less than 20. So, 11 will get printed. In this way, when 19 is less than 20, so 19 will get printed, but 19 plus 1, 20 is less than 20, the condition is false. So, the code will not get executed. The body of this while block will not get executed. It will come out from this while block and the program will get terminated. In this way, from this program and from the respective output, we have discussed how this program will produce output for us. Thanks for watching this video.